A standard phosphine dose rate is 1.5 grams of phosphine per cubic metre of storage. And each tablet, if you're using the tablets, liberates one gram of phosphine. So that interprets out to one and a half tablets per cubic metre of storage is our official standard dose rate. If you'd like an easy rule of thumb that can be used, if for instance I had a silo that would hold 100 tonnes of wheat when full, the number of tablets it requires is 200 tablets. If I had a larger silo that held when full 250 tonnes of wheat, double it requires 500 tablets or 5 tins. So that's a simple rule of thumb we can use in terms of calculating our dose rate. The application of the tablets or the bag chains itself, if we're using the tablets, we need to place them on trays or in a drum. So a 20 litre drum that's cut in half and actually hung level up in the headspace of the silo. Just ensure that the tablets are spread out and not piled on top of each other when they're liberating the gas and breaking down into the powder we're familiar with, that can smother tablets underneath them. So we should ensure that they're spread out so they react with the humidity in the air of that headspace. What are we looking at for a standard fumigation? If our grain is above 25 degrees Celsius, it's a seven day fumigation or exposure period. If the grain is cooler than that, and hopefully you might've been using aeration, and the grain is between the 15 degrees Celsius and 25, then you're looking at a 10 day minimum fumigation period. Following this, we're looking to come to the venting stage of the silo. Climb the silo. Again, be familiar with how to treat uh, phosphine appropriately. You have your PP and E gear on. Be aware that if you're having the breeze come across you, that's a safer position to be in relation to opening that top lid on the silo. Open the top lid, come down to the base, turn on your aeration fan now and remove that gas. That needs to happen for a full day, so 24 hours of running the fan to vent that silo. The grain can then be safely transported and moved to the point of sale or if you're just going to hold that uh, grain for further storage period, return to normal aeration cooling management. Remember if the grain is to be sold and moved after the venting period, that there is a withhold or period of two days. So in conclusion, there's those key steps to fumigation. Follow the safety guidelines, ensure that it is conducted in a properly gas tight sealed storage. And then I think one of the key things to this practice is that we can be known as a producer that supplies grain that is pest free and doesn't create further problems for the next person in the value chain. There's a number of good resources on fumigation and if you go to the storedgrain.com.au website you'll find both booklets and brief fact sheets to give you extra information.